all this music is is it's always like this. This stuff has just been written off of and, and and stolen from black people. Been written off the off the backs of black people. And by the way, this thing he said about women, are you just going to generalize uh, uh just women and, and you mean to tell me not one woman, mm. not one woman was is articulate. Not one woman can come in there and 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 speak to the level of whatever it is you uh, whatever your criteria is. Uh, of intelligence. Wow, this guy's a he's a piece of shit, yeah, man. Yeah. So all women are just dumb. Mm -hmm. Out of all the contributions that women have given to music, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so much contri so many contributions. So you mean to tell me Aretha Franklin? Just okay, she's just a piece of shit. Okay, fine. Wow, man. Everyone is familiar with the magazine Rolling Stone. Mm. I mean, it's just like it used to be like a thing. Oh yeah, it used to be a thing, but still, it's a you know, it's still a it's such a institution. Even the legacy of it is well known amongst people. But back in the day, you know, being in the Rolling Stone was a big deal. They even had a song on the cover of the Rolling mm -hmm. Stone, and one of the guys that created that was this publisher here, uh, Jan Winner. Who also, I think, helped create Men's Health magazine too. I, I, I think that's what I read about him. Anyway, <coughs> guy's a piece of shit. Yeah, guy's a, guy's a complete piece of shit. And he just released his book, and it was called the uh, It's called The Masters. And who are the masters that he considers uh, in this book? Uh, uh, Bono, uh, Bob Dylan, Jerry Garcia, Mick Jagger, John Lennon. Bruce Springsteen, Robert Townsend. If you know Robert Townsend, you might know a band called The Who. He was uh, Pete Townsend. <clears throat> Pete, I'm sorry, Pete Townsend. Robert Townsend got that directed. Total opposite. Mm -hmm. Robert Townsend got to do Black uh, Hollywood Shuffle yeah. <laughs> and all that mm -hmm. stuff. And Meteor Man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, I can tell you, he's definitely not in this book. <laughs> yeah. So, did you hear about what what <clears throat> happened with him? No. So, he did a. It was an interview. Let's see here. Let me find the right mag, uh, the, the the right publication that's given the right details about this. So in this in this book that he made, they asked him. They said, uh, are "You talking about music? And you're talking about masters? You know, it's your book. You do what you want to. You know, these are people that obviously mean a lot to you. But just out of, out of curiosity, why no people of color and mm. why no women? Now the guy could have simply said, "Well, sorry, you're right. I, I, maybe I should have considered that. But these are just people that kind of just." Influenced me and appealed to me, and these are people I want to talk to. Mm. Nobody's gonna fault him for that. All right, mm. sure. <clears throat> but the he he he, you know, some people just can't shut the f up. They got to show you just how much of an asshole mm -hmm. they are, because <clears throat> they're proud of it. Yeah. So he went on to say, and this is from CNN. He went on to say, the people who are in this book, the people had to meet a couple of criteria. But it was just kind of my personal interest and love of them. Uh, could have left it at that. But then he continued, uh, in so far as the women, just none of them were as articulate enough on this intellectual level. In other words, you bitches are stupid, mm. is what he's saying. Mm. Oh, didn't stop there, though. Could have stopped. Could have stopped, but can't stop, won't stop. And, and nobody's going to stop right there. No. They're going to keep going. And another thing yeah. <laughs> goes on. Uh... Stevie Wonder, genius, right? I suppose when you use a word as broad as masters, the fault is using that word. Maybe Marvin Gaye or Curtis Mayfield. I mean, they just didn't articulate at that level. In other words, you are stupid. Yeah. For public, for public relations sake, maybe I should have gone and found one black and one woman artist to include here that didn't measure up to the same historical standard, just to avert the sound kind of criticism, you know, so, you know, Throw y'all a bone. Mm -hmm. May bring that. You know, I could have brought the ignorant ass, the ignorant asses in. Mm -hmm. I could have brought their stupid asses in here to say something just to please you. Mm -hmm. But I ain't that person. Yeah. I don't please nobody but my racist, stupid, sexist ass. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe I'm old fashioned. Yeah, old yeah. old fashioned yeah. and that you're sexist yeah. and racist. racist. Yeah, that's that's old fashioned. Yeah, that's that's that's, that's, that's nothing's more old fashioned. Than that. <laughs> not, not, oh. <laughs> What? Boy, you age like fine racist sexist wine. Man, you 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 throw in religious and you got the the, the full trifecta. You should do. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm old fashioned and I don't give a whatever. I wish in retro retrospect I could have interviewed Marvin Gaye. Maybe he'd have been the guy. Maybe Otis Redding had he lived. 
would have been the guy. Uh, so anyway, he's been removed from the, I guess, the board of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what it took. Yeah. This guy has been a sexist, racist gatekeeper for his entire career. That and this even with the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, uh, all of that has just been pure politics and gatekeeping. And and it sucks that it's so many. It's still that that standard that musicians want to get and get in there, get inducted into it. Even though when you look at who they take and who they reject, you go, "Wow, this is some bullshit." There's not even a real criteria yeah. here. Yeah, man. He even. I mean, if you can't look at this man, and tell him he's not racist and sexist. Look at he got a racist beard. <laughs> he he looks like an old racist, sexist miser, doesn't he? No. He looks like he looks like he looks like Claw from from Black Panther. Black Panther. <laughs> You're right. I mean, if you can't tell that he's a racist, I mean. <laughs> wow, that's what it took to remove him from the book? Okay. Yeah, that, right. yeah, finally. He's been removed from the, he's been removed, as it says here, from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Foundation's board after facing widespread criticism for comments that he made in a New York Times interview because these people just can't shut the up. You know, what's, whatever's inside of them has to come out. Well, here's the thing, Corey. Okay, they removed him because he said these things publicly and it's out there and people are making a stink about it. Mm-hmm. But this isn't a new attitude for him. This has been there the whole time. But the board couldn't couldn't act on it on their own. Yeah. They couldn't go like, hey, this shit is wrong. We need to do something about it. It took a, a, a bunch of noise, a big stink, a bunch of people saying stuff for them to go like, oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, no, we're going to do the right thing <clears throat> immediately. Yeah. No, we're with you guys. F*** you. You know, I, yeah, it's just like with everything else. Nobody did anything until it got public. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. always what happens, because that's what happened. It, it became public. A lot of people t- today don't know the man's name, so they don't know too much about him. They know, ma- the, the, they know the magazine. They know what he's created, but they don't know him as much today. Oh, anymore. he would come on Howard Stern all the time, and Howard Stern would just suck his dick, because he put him on Rolling Stone and did great uh, interviews with him, what, 30 years ago, and still to this day, every so often has him on, and I can't even listen to it. I have to turn it off. Why? Because... C- to hear him, one, him, him getting his dick sucked so hard, and the, the two of them commiserating, but just to hear him and his arrogance on who he <coughs> thinks is special and, and isn't and is worthy. And I was like, who the f*** you? Well, the really, the really disgusting and hurtful and just overall just shitty thing about this is that he's, what, and I, really, this is what makes this guy a huge throbbing racist dick is that he... He's talking about the masters, and he's talking about the music, and he's talking about the legacy of music. And meanwhile, you know, he's sitting up here, and I showed you the, the I showed you the, uh, the cover of the magazine, uh, or, the, or the book, rather. I'm sorry, the book. We had all these people on there. You've got people on there like Mick Jagger. This, this magazine's called Rolling Stone. They stole from black people. Yep. Yep. A lot of the things that he loves yep. is, is it, off it, of is is yep. it, he is it is written and stolen. Off the black, uh, off the back of black people. As a matter of fact, everybody, every name on that list, it, if, if if they didn't steal from black people, they were it, heavily influenced. They're heavily influenced. As a matter of fact, they <clears throat> tell you that their heroes were black musicians. Like Bob Dylan is always praised as a great lyricist, and he is. But his hero is Smokey Robinson. Really? Yes, and he is. He has said it multiple times. That's who he looked up to and said, "Man, I want to be able to do that." Shit, even even Bruce Springsteen kind of got his soul from <laughs> from from black musicians in a way. And if you asked him, he would not deny that. No, he would not. All those people on there, man. Abano you know, that, also. All this music is is it's always <laughs> like this. This stuff has just been written off of and, and and stolen from black people. Been written off the off the backs of black people. And by the way, this thing he said about women. Are you just going to generalize uh, uh, just women? And, and you mean to tell me not one woman, mm. not one woman was is articulate. Not one woman can come in there and 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 speak to the level of whatever it is you uh, whatever your criteria is uh, of intelligence. Wow, this guy's a he's a piece of shit, yeah, man. Yeah. So all women are just dumb. Mm-hmm. Out of all the contributions that women have given to music. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So much contrib- so many contributions. So you mean to tell me Aretha Franklin? Just okay, she's just a piece of shit. Okay, fine. Wow, man, you know. Well, it's, it's especially now that the, there's, uh, you know, so many female musicians who their music is on such an intellectual level, and 
and they talk about real shit, but none of them can be articulate yeah. enough. Yeah. Okay. You mean you can't tell me women wow. who right. who have con who who have controlled not only their music but their business? It's Cher. So Cher's just a dumbass. Dolly Parton, just a, just just a stupid broad. Okay. I mean, just to name a few, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Just, <laughs> uh, Stevie Nicks, dumb. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just dumb. All right. Yeah, and it was all. I mean, I guess Stevie Wonder is a musical genius and all that, but you couldn't talk to him. Wow. Okay. Have you ever heard Stevie <laughs> yeah. Wonder? Stevie Wonder is one of the most poetic. People I know. I know. To ever I know. Wow. I know. Oh Jesus! This guy's a total. This guy's a total piece of shit. Wow. I don't know, man. What you, what you think they're gonna get up there? You thought what you thought the what you think that Stevie Wonder? Have you ever heard Stevie Wonder? What you think Stevie Wonder was gonna get up there and say? I'll be making music. <laughs> you, know? you think the women gonna get up there and talk like goddamn airheads? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I like music. <laughs> what the is wrong with you, man? And honestly, for something that is so <laughs> inherently racist, to call it the masters is <laughs> really <laughs> the master race. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the God masters. Damn. Bow down to your masters. Yeah. Think of all the women in soul over the years, man. Diana Ross and, you know, I mean, just uh, like all the women that have contribu contributed to soul, country, and especially pop music. Taylor Swift, I think, so she's an idiot. Okay. I mean, the thing is, okay, I get it if you're just going to blow off singers, but you have songwriters, people who are uh, just musicians to their core. Like I said, Stevie Wonder was playing... He was playing professionally when he was a teenager. Yeah, he's a genius. Yeah. He's a prodigy. So, so he can't talk music. Mm. Okay. Yeah. No, Martin, he can't. <laughs> look, he's, look I, I just can't even look at this guy's face. Yeah, but, you know, this guy was able to, he, like you say, he was a gatekeeper. He was able to call the shots for years, mm -hmm. you know, because Rolling Stone, you know. Uh, and everybody and, gets and Rolling, Rolling Stone was ass. big, but now it's about this big. <laughs> it's it, fine in Barnes and Noble if you even go into one. Yeah, ain't nobody reading Rolling it, Stone like they used no, to. No, no. If I, I guarantee, if you have a subscription to Rolling Stone, you probably don't read most of it. But, yeah, but I guarantee you don't have a subscription. Yeah. Oh well. Well, you know, at least we, he's getting exposed now. Yeah, I read this last night. I was just like, wow, this guy is. He's amazing. <laughs> I'm only surprised that something was actually done about it. Yeah. Well, I can say, man, you know, things go public now. And they go public. And when they go public, they they go public uh, uh, quick. You know, they yeah. spread quick. Yeah. So, you know, they, you, you, these days, you can, you got, you know, and they're going to, and here's the sad thing about it. They still going to kiss this guy's ass behind closed doors. Oh, yeah. You know, they ain't, ain't shit going to change. Yeah, yeah. It's just, this is the safe face. Mm -hmm. He probably even was like, yeah, whatever. I'll step down. I'll go anyway. Right, right, right. Yeah, just you know, I'm doing right. y'all a but, favor. But you know, here's here's my agenda for the year. So just yeah. make sure that happens. <clears throat> you know, the other thing that really pisses me off about looking at this, these goddamn machines, man. I noticed they, that, man. <laughs> he's he surrounded mean, by I, them. I, mean, I saw the two on the side, but at the top two, what what are they doing to you? They gonna make me buy another one, <laughs> <laughs> so they can put double the amount of ads up there. <laughs> they won't leave me alone, man. They won't. <laughs> I mean, I've had ads I'm come and go. One of those things. No, don't. That will haunt you for the rest of your life. <laughs> That's an anti-ad. <laughs> Until I sell one, it's never gonna leave me alone. Martin, it, it follows. Yeah, exactly. And Martin, you 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 no, interested in uh, no, getting good. into shape? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> you I'll just stay flat. Please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, was, I thought he was talking about people who are alive, but yeah, man, you can get you're talking about masters. You don't get no more masterful than Jimi Hendrix, man. Music is playing. What happened? How did that happen? Oh, you don't get no more masterful than uh, Jimi Hendrix. I suppose I could have talked to Marvin Gaye, but clearly he's not here. Shut up. Do you expect me to talk to any of these hip hop black guys? No, I don't think so. Yeah, for for years they didn't they didn't they ignored a lot of black artists, you yeah. know, especially with hip hop, until they ha absolutely had to do something. They spent a long time not wanting to admit that. Prince was playing rock and roll. Really? Yeah. Oh, what a piece of shit. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> anyway. I mean, he was shredding on his first album back when barely anybody knew who he was. And playing he, all the instruments. Yeah. Oh, uh, well. Well, I don't know. I hate to, you know, I hate to be this guy, but die soon, man. <laughs> but that's the thing, he won't. <laughs> I know. He won't. He won't. <laughs> <laughs> well, hang on with it. Put us as long as you can. <laughs>